guys welcome back to my channel so I'm doing this beautiful look on my dear friend Brianna she is a lovely young and youthful and only 16 and she's just sort of learning makeup so I thought let's do a makeup for if she's going out on the weekend so going to sort of an event she, we weren't we were just mucking around at home of course and not actually going anywhere but that was sort of our inspiration um, so I'm wanting to use a very light, natural, simple makeup because she doesn't wear a lot of makeup, so I'm keeping it nice and fluffy. So I'm using all MG Natural products today, and this is the BB Cream in Luminous Light. So she likes to have the SPF properties that are in this foundation. And as you can see, I'm only doing a very sheer because she's got such a youthful, beautiful skin, and she's just sort of creating a slightly more even skin tone, but she does like her, her um, freckles to still pop out. And now I'm taking the illuminating wand. So this is just going to add that extra dewy, glossy, youthful skin, just enhancing her youthful skin. I keep using that word because I'm, I'm hitting 30 this year. I'm, I still feel like I'm very young, but not compared to when I'm, <laughs> thanks Dougie, not when I'm doing a 16 year old's makeup. So this is such a beautiful extra hint of a, oh hey, an extra oomph to a makeup look. So you could leave it very natural looking and popping it on just like this. I will emphasis, emphasize it later and add a little bit of the powder on top. So I'm just blending that in on top of the BB cream. So ke keeping the rule of method having the creams with the creams. Now I'm leaving this on her skin as is to warm up and blend in because we are going to only use a translucent powder at the very end because she doesn't want to add any more coverage but we still want that um, translucent powder to help absorb any oils in as well as that'll just help it last that little bit longer as well. So now I'm taking the Auburn Brow Powder. This is again all MG Naturals. And we're just going to define her brow. So I'm not changing this shape. I am just, and you'll, I'll sh there's a before and after of what brows can really do and how they can change your face just by adding a little bit more definition to them. So keeping it, following her like natural structure, just filling in sort of the gaps and making it a little bit more fuller. But again, keeping it on the natural side because Brianna doesn't wear a lot of makeup. I'm wanting her to still have makeup but then not makeup if that makes sense so don't add any more product to the tip of the brow here just blending it as best we can and now I'm taking that the foundation brush I used for the BB cream sorry I didn't use the foundation I used the BB cream only just to lightly soften that start of that brow and brushing it through and that just helps pass the product so yeah as you can see the before and after just creates such a bit more shape. So now I'm taking their new matte eyeshadow here in Nude. I am using this to sort of prime the eyes because I'd normally use a powder foundation but because we're not I thought I'd just use a nude shadow. So taking this all over her main lid and that's just going to smooth out the edge of course. Now we're taking the shade Spice. This is a nice neutral brown matte shade again in their new matte eyeshadow range. And we're taking this with a big fluffy brush and we're just blending this in um, her crease. Now she does have hooded eyes so you can see that's where I'm slightly lifting. This is just to make sure the product gets in any folds. And then of course I always get my clients to open their eyes up as I'm applying it to make sure that it, I haven't created um, an off shape. So always open and close, starting light and adding. That's probably and then a clean brush to wipe off the excess. That's probably the main rule of thumb with eyeshadow is start light and add because if you go too dark it's really hard to make it lighter. And as you can tell it's school holidays while I'm doing this and my children and the background noises. <laughs> So that's why I love these double sided brushes. This was from an old nude palette that I got years ago and the others were from The Balm when I used to work with them as well. I kept them because they are cruelty free bristles so they're synthetic and they are just the handiest. I've had them for years. Now I'm taking the shade, I think this one was Duchess. And we're just deepening that lash line, sort of just leaving it on the outer three quarters, not taking it all the way 
in and we're just wanting to make her eyes bit stand out just that like ever so slightly but again keeping it very nice and natural and soft so this just adds definition to the last lash line creating fuller lashes and helping to open up the eyes so I chose to use nice matte eyeshadows because again she doesn't wear too much and I didn't want it to be too much for her but I still wanted it to add some definition and darken and brighten the eyes so now with the flat shader brush, I'm just taking the nude shade now again and just going to lighten that up because some of the other eyeshadow could have fallen there. Taking a clean brush just to blend again, blend the shades together. You get sick of makeup artists going blend, 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 but that to them creating the beautiful eye look no matter if you're doing smoky or soft or bold is blending. So just going back and forth, making sure they're even and they're soft and I'm happy and wiping any excess powder off now and I'm using the sheer light highlighter now to do the brow bone and the tear duct and this is where I feel like no matter what age you are I always tend to use a slight shimmer shade it just helps open and pop the eyes and this one is more of a golder toned highlighter but still very soft because that's kind of what we're going for is a soft look so yes putting it on the ear tender and you can see instantly we, that just helps brighten the eyes because with Brianna I didn't use any concealers I didn't feel that she needed to have any more and you know if your skin is looking this clear and beautiful there's no point in adding more product where you don't need it so now taking the MG Naturals mascara just putting a very few light coats 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 and you can see what that difference does. Now this is a new product coming soon that I was lucky enough to get a few samples of to try. So this is a cream lip to cheek product. So I'm adding this on as a very soft blush. So you can use this as a tint, or if you did your full face with the powder, you can add it on top as a long lasting blush as well. But we did it for the more tint lighter tone because she actually, and the makeup she does have she doesn't ever wear blush so I just I needed to just me being the makeup artist I was like we're adding it and now this is a sheer light the same highlighter we use for the eyes just to go over her cupid's bow and her cheeks I left her nose and her forehead just as is with the illuminating cream just because um, being younger our skin tends to go just a smidgen smidgen oily and we didn't want to emphasis on that now mascara on the bottom lash line just again a little bit just to tie in with the top lashes now this is the translucent powder so this is a clear powder designed as a powdered form of makeup setting spray that you can get this is the most cleanest purest ingredients you can get for a setting powder and it's not going to add any more chalkiness to the skin as in if you kept adding powder and powder and powder so it's nude and it's clear and you can go over the top of your blush and it just keeps everything in place now taking that same cream blush that we used, of course, because it can go on the cheeks and the lips. Now we're using that for her lips. Now she tends to use a lot more of a, the darker sort of pinker tones, like the wild rose that MG Naturals has. Um, and I just wanted to go for this lighter shade, just I felt like she'd pull it off and look at those gorgeous lips. So I'm glad we chose this color for her. So this doesn't have a name yet because it is new and coming. And thank you so much for watching.